In Creo 9.0, Creo Simulation Live now supports models with lattice geometry within a fluid study. In previous releases of Creo, this type of geometry was ignored in a fluid study. On my screen, I have a multi-body part. It has a shell, a lattice feature in the form of a gyroid, and another body that I'm using as the fluid body. The fluid body will represent the fluid and allow me to create boundary conditions for the fluid flow. It is not possible to apply boundary conditions to the lattice geometry. Let's now set up this simulation. I will first select the fluid body as my fluid domain. And I'll pick that out of the model tree. Next, I will define my inlets and my outlets. For the inlet, let's pick on the far side uh, of the cylinder and we'll enter in our value for that. Next, we'll set up the outlet. We'll pick on that surface right there. Next, we will set up the material of the fluid domain. In this case, let's pick air. And lastly, an important step is to check the box called remove internal geometry. This will tell the solver to remove the lattice geometry from the fluid body when it is solving. Since these bodies are interfering before we solve, this is a really big time saver for me to let the solver worry about the resulting fluid body. And here are the simulation results. We can look at the different display results, such as cut planes, direction field, streamlines, particles, and also create simulation probes if we wish to. Lattice geometry being available for fluids opens up many possibilities for making design decisions based upon real-time fluid flow results.